Luke's Fishing Channel. I'm down Horseshoe Lake for the Junior Park Camp with my brother Robert, um, my tutor for the time I'm here, Nigel. Um, so we're here for three days. It's Thursday the 31st of May and we're leaving on the 3rd, I think, of June. I think It looks pretty. It doesn't look that bad for a bike, really. We've seen them fizzing over my around my left hand rod, and we've seen them boshing over Rob Spot One, being a big common, reckon thirty pound no, plus. Still a fairly good common. And commons are pretty rare in all so it'd be nice to see Rob get one, but I'll be a bit jealous on it. Um, we found the clear spots. We're fishing over Silver Green. So not really clear clear but we can present rigs. I've got my left rod on a Ronnie rig and my right rod on a hinge stick. And what what rigs are you on? Hinge stick. Back there. Um and I've got I've got both my rods is just an underarm flip, about eight wraps down the margin. Um We've seen a bit of fizzing around there, and then the left rod, that's 15 wraps out, so, and that's the spot we've seen most activity to, so, fingers crossed, we might get one. So yeah, I'll keep, we'll keep you updated, and see what happens. Look at that weather. Rob and I are constantly getting lakes of water pretty much on the top of our bivvy. Right then, absolutely buzzing with this, been doing floater fishing after lunch, fishing probably half an hour. I got this absolutely stunning half limb mirror of 17 pound on the dot. Absolutely chuffed to bits for a first ever for a first horseshoe carp. Well I could properly call mine as the last one was on Alan Blair's rods. Get uh, in. Absolutely chuffed to bits. We'll get a few steals and slip this chunk back. Right then, I just realised I haven't even done a morning vlog for today. It's second day, first full day now, Friday. So we got here yesterday. Um, so it's three o'clock. I had that fish probably about half an hour ago now. Um, but anyway, before that, I woke up. We couldn't, we didn't really see much, but nine o'clock. They were showing the peg in front of us, they're slowly creeping up. Um, and it's raining again, so that's the end of Flutter Rota. But um, they were just slowly creeping up towards us. They got in our spot. My, my margin rod went off, unfortunately lost it. Well, it's a bit of a gutter. But Rob's rods, they didn't go off, but he had fish all over them. Then, just before lunch, the sun got out, we got mixers out, fish were taken almost instantly. They're all over us, but I'm um, pissing down now, I'm happy I don't have any rods out. But, um, yeah, and then Rob unfortunately lost one off the top, um, what didn't look like a bad fish. I'm a chairs outside still. Oh, that's wet as hell. Anyway, I'm going to quickly pack my chair up and then, yeah, we'll keep you updated. Right then, so, it's coming to the evening of our last full day. It's Saturday and we're off tomorrow on Sunday. Um, but, so what's happened today is I woke up in the morning about 8 because I left the phone off in the night as it's low on battery. So my alarm didn't wake me up to my brother's rod going off and that was a pike what bit him off and then about 10 in the morning he lost one on the bottom bait so he was bringing it in really nicely it just happened to get him stuck in a big weed bed about 40 yards out and now Nigel's throwing stuff at my bivvy to distract me during the vlog but um <laughs> they've been round to Summer Bay and we went round there for Floater Rod but they're coming back into Winter Bay now we've seen loads in the lagoon and usually they come out of the lagoon into the water we're fishing um, so yeah it looks really good there's, there's been so much pressure on Summer Bay so they've all been round there 
that the fish have basically just moved moved back round there now and they move a lot on this lake so yeah so we put some more bait out from the night we recast the rod straight out after dinner it was really good for a bite and this is the culprit for who's been throwing stones at my finger uh, there he is that's what I've been putting up with for the last few days that's Nigel um, my tutor for junior carp camp uh, he, he's made me get one not Rob yet so fingers crossed for Rob now and Nigel's blanking too so yeah fingers crossed Nigel gets one then it's a good yeah anyway if I don't see you in the night or later this evening what hopefully we do I'll see I'll probably see you tomorrow and then we're just on my way home. we're on our way home now um we didn't get any in the morning or in the night well it's a bit of a shame so I had that one 17 pound mirror I'm quite happy with that as it is an absolute minter and it gave me a very good fight um I'm Rob unfortunately blank but he worked so hard I, he should have had one but to be fair he did get he did very well to get those three bites what he lost two on the bottom and one on the top but it's just a shame he didn't land them but we're going to try and get down there in some holidays for a 24 hour or 48 or something um, and yeah anyway I'll probably see you on the next video